Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. All right, today we have Tease Water Locks, and I'm gonna show you something really fun that you can do with them. Okay, initially I got them and cleaned them, and they're beautiful white ones like this. Then I dyed them with Dharma dyes, color ruby, and it ended up breaking with some really interesting colors in there. That's cool. Then I thrummed this stool, which is really fun to wear. The one thing I wanna tell you is the yarn you use to knit with and thrum the locks in, make sure it's really soft. Because I did it and this is a little bit itchy, so I have to make sure that I'm wearing something that's covering my neck. All right, on to the tutorial. We have a bunch of dyed locks that I wanted to make into a nice stole for around my neck. So we are going to thrum them into the knitting. So this project you knit every single row. For this one, I did eight stitches. You start, your first row would have been like this, and now we worked our way up. You knit the first stitch. Lay your lock between the needles, across the yarn, leaving enough to knit in. You take it with you as you knit around the next two stitches. And this works it in. After you do two stitches, add another one. And when you're working on your own project, you can determine your own thickness. And what I've done is with each row, I have varied it so that they're, they're not on top of each other. So on the next row, with the lock spacing out, I'll knit in two before I lay down a lock. Here we go. Two more again. Kind of handy to have your locks ready. <laughs> they still stick, as you can see. These are a little bit fuzzy, but I love them, so I'm using them. And I think it's gonna be okay when it's all together. Leave enough here to knit two. Now I'll tell you now, I started with more knit stitches I uh, started with 15 and it made way too thick of a stole because this spreads out. So I went down to eight and it has worked much better. Of course you put the tip side out, the cut side will be behind. If it's too hard to knit in, then I just kind of weave over it. All right, then on the back side, you just knit the whole way. And you get the idea. As you see, there was really nothing to it. It's quite easy. There was a couple things I wanna share with you though. What I did is so all the locks lay this way. I knitted up and stopped, held the stitches on another needle, and then did it all again on this side. Knitted up and stopped, and then sewed it together. And it doesn't matter how you sew it together because no one will see it. So I just went back and forth, sewed it together. Then you have a nice stole where all the locks lay really nice. All right, thanks for watching.